Good morning, uh, guys. Um, I'm very excited to, f to finish off uh, over here in this area where I'm doing the edging. I got up earlier than usual. I skipped my walk because I want to get the, the this thing finished. Um, because I'm halfway there, the edging and then planting the new plants I got and moving the oleander tree. I'm excited to see um, how it's going to look and how it's going to turn out. I I'm, I'm, know I'm going to have space where I'm going to have more planting, more space to plant. So I'm also like, you know, as the season goes, I'll be shopping for plants and filling it up as I go along. So let's get started. Here's another look at where we're going to be working. Finish off the edge and heading over there to the other side, making this all beautiful. Eventually, I'm going to have time I'll be able to put the mulch, be able to fertilize this area. It'll be ready. Corner. <sighs> Look at all this. So as I was digging, I was contemplating what can I planning and dreaming about what I want to plant here on the edge. So I think the easiest thing to plant that is good in this area, I'm gonna fill it up with mumps. Or what is it called? I was the other one, not mumps, but okay, I remember what they're called. It's marigolds. I went to look at the packet. I don't have a packet of seeds inside the house. So I know I planted marigolds before and they do so good here. They're kind of like a fall plant, but I can try them like in the summer or maybe I can also plant petunias. We'll see. tilling all this soil because I ran into a patch of Bermuda grass which is horrible. The St. Augustine grass is so much easier to remove and it's not as goes as deep but the Bermuda grass you'll never get rid of it so I'm trying to get rid of as much of the roots as I can to try to get it under control. All right break time. I cannot believe I am done and it looks beautiful. Took me most of my day. Well, I think I started at eight. I think it's like twelve thirty right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue today. Maybe, maybe I can do is just put the uh, soil amendments here. But I've been waiting all summer. Well, all since last year I had planned. I'm fixing this bed up and it's finally done. Now I can enjoy the planting, the flowers and everything I'll put in here. Look at this, just gotta clean up. I should probably stop, <laughs> but me, I don't stop, I keep going. Last thing I'm gonna do is just put some topsoil, topsoil and compost and the planting I'll start it on Monday. Got to get some rest for it. I got a three day weekend ahead of me at work. We got to get a little bit of rest. I am done for the day. Got the topsoil, got the compost here. And next time I come in, it's just gonna be planting. 
Well, I do got to dig out some stuff over there, but it shouldn't be as hard work as today. This is a compost that I use. This is from Lowe's. It's like $3 a bag. Topsoil, $2 a bag. From also from Lowe's. It's easy. Then for me, it's easier than buying the, you know, the, the bulk. I have to be carrying all that stuff around. It's hard enough as it is. All right. Very productive day. I am very happy with what I had done. I always underestimate the work. I thought I would have all the plants done by today. <laughs> very wrong. It stopped, what stopped me was that I had to till the soil. But it's ready. So now uh, maybe I'll go shopping for some plants. The next time I'm off is on Monday. I have three 12-hour shifts at the hospital. Which is not. It's also physical work. It's mental work. Uh, so it is it is heavy you have to prepare for those three days so that's it i'm gonna try to enjoy the rest of my day with my family cook dinner and that's all hope you all have a good evening see you next time bye bye <laughs>